Hey YouTube, I hate to be back so soon, but I had to jump on for a really quick update because I was trolling the Candyland Twitter and I found something absolutely mind blowing to me. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It's the best way to support the channel. I was checking out their latest Twitter post, which I mean, I don't even know what this is, but I was scrolling down and looking at the comments. And if you go down far enough, I saw a couple comments mentioning something called the ruse. One comment says what happened to the ruse and the other one says this project going to get rugged like what you did to the ruse. Now, I didn't know what this meant at all when I first saw it, but then I did a little Googling and what I found was this on the Golden Lane Studio YouTube channel. If you specifically go to the Candyland animatronic series playlist on the channel and look at the description of the playlist, it reads Candyland is original web series created and produced by Golden Lane Studio in collaboration with Rowdy Ruse. Now this name Rowdy Ruse doesn't come up anywhere else on the channel. No video descriptions, no channel description, just the description of this specific playlist. And also this doesn't show up on the Candyland YouTube channel or Twitter account at all. So okay, at this point I had to Google Rowdy Ruse and this is what I found. Rowdy Ruse has its own Twitter page. And on the Twitter page, as you can see, it's just NFTs. As you scroll down, just different NFT art of this kangaroo in all different forms. But if you scroll all the way to the top of this Twitter page, what you'll see is Candyland. They've retweeted a couple of Candyland tweets. Now, Rowdy Ruse seems to just be a typical NFT project, one of the thousands that we used to see back in 2022, and apparently they shut it down completely in late 2022. I did also find that Rowdy Ruse had a Twitch channel, but it hasn't been active since 2022, and it only has 81 followers. So with that information, and the information that Candyland was in collaboration with Rowdy Ruse from the very start, things are starting to piece together. And now it makes a little bit more sense why the first animatronic shown in the Candyland project was a kangaroo. But this has all been very carefully hidden by Golden Lane Studio and Candyland. And even though it's not a secret that Candyland is an NFT project at this point, they really wanted to make sure no one knew about Rowdy Ruse. And it's probably because it didn't do very well. Although if you look at the Rowdy Ruse website, which is still up by the way, the next stretch goal that they were going to hit with their project is launching a 3D project. Now, considering the timelines of Candyland and Rowdy Ruse and the whole NFT thing, it seems that this 3D project ended up just being Candyland. Now, I'm not sure if they approached Golden Lane Studios and asked them to make them a project or if those two companies are just one company now. But whatever happened, it is obviously a collaborative effort considering this description on their playlist. Now, if we look at the Candyland project on OpenSea, which is a website that chronicles all NFT projects, it does say Candyland is a collection of 7,777 fully animated 3D NFTs based on the four characters of the Candyland universe. Powered by Golden Lane Studio, this multimedia franchise aims to captivate audiences from both Web 2 and Web 3 worlds. Which, first of all, it is not a multimedia franchise because there is no game that exists, and I still firmly believe that it probably won't exist, especially considering there's only about 2,000 owners of these NFTs. But it is sad to see such a cool project go this route. I mean, the animations on these look really good, and all of the Golden Lane Studio animation looks great. But considering the failed NFT project of Rowdy Ruse and the extremely limited ownership of the Candyland NFTs, I doubt there'll be a budget enough to make that game a reality. And as you can see, like all NFT projects, these are all just a bunch of reskins of the few characters that they do have. And they sell for the most expensive one going for 100 Ethereum, which is wait, $235,000 is the most expensive one. OK, well, <laughs> They're, they're very expensive, but most of these 7000 plus NFTs sell for around 0.0145 Ethereum, which is around $112. And as I've been scrolling this list, I just noticed just now this project went from being live to being paused. That might explain why there's only 2000 buyers. But after finding this, I really just had to jump on here and update you guys because I haven't seen anyone talk about this and I myself just found this out like 15 minutes ago. So, so I had to come on here and talk about it. But let me know what you guys think about this whole situation, about Candyland, about NFT projects, about all of this. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.